Oh. And we're back with a m another Monday Night Raw recap. Yeah. And to start it off, Vince McMahon. Yeah, of course. Just like he. No chance in hell. Yeah, just like he said, he would, they were, he's going to come out and shake things up. Oh, yeah, he and he did. did. He, he brought the whole McMahons and Triple H. Yep, he, well, for, he brought Stephanie, then Triple H, and then Shane. Oh, yeah. And they're all saying this. This also goes for SmackDown, too. The McMahons are in charge. They're not laying the... Uh, there's not going to be no authority. And it's all... They're doing this all for the fans. So they promised new wrestlers, new matches, possibly new pay-per-views for the, for the year. So this time, it's all for the fans. And then who comes out? Baron Corbin to ruin the mood because he's whining about last night. Yep. Couldn't take it like a man. Yep, and Triple and Triple H is like, Triple H is like, okay, you'll be GM if you beat this man, and of course that's the uh, first match. So Kurt Angle. Baron Corbin versus Kurt Angle. But he Triple H goes, wait, it's actually a handicap match. And you're facing these guys. Paula Cruz, Rude and Gable, and. Also, the special guest referee, referee Slater. Yeah. And then during the middle of the match, Shane McMahon shows up and he says, it's a no disqualification match. And oh, just hitting man. chairs and this and that. Doing their signature moves. It was awesome. Yep. So Kurt Angle p uh, pins B uh, Baron Corbin and he won. And... Everybody's cheering, get the tables, get the tables, get the t k the tables. And everyone helps Kurt Angle give Baron Corbin the angle slam through a table. Yeah. So That's that... Awesome. Awesome. Like, one way to start, uh, start off Monday Night Raw. Yeah. Yeah. That was that About one. time they started shaking I think up. I think this actually went up. <laughs> yeah. Because this is what happens. Remember, didn't, didn't he say that things went down? Yeah. Seth Rollins? Now, all of a sudden, even, they're spicing even, it up. Even though Bear Corbin blames Seth Rollins. Oh, but, man. Shh, that's too early. Yeah, no, that was later in the night. Now, for our next match. Yes. Finn Balor versus Dolph Ziggler. Or Missy Zig calls him Ziggy Wiggy. Yep, Ziggy Wiggy. And here's the thing. It was actually getting good. And the only reason why that they're having the match is because what happened at TLC. Yeah. Backstage. And guess what happens? When Dolph Ziggler's getting the upper hand, Drew McIntyre comes out and tries mm -hmm. to interfere. And both Finn and Dolph end up trying to fight him. But in the end, Finn Balor wins via disqualification. Yep, because they both got kicked. So. Oh, why? You're not going to be able to call this? Missy has to say it? Man, Missy has to say my man. I know. Her ultimate fave, Dean Ambrose versus... Oh my God, Tyler Breeze! Well, first Dean Ambrose, of course, was out there first. He was. He was calling. That stupid intro. He was. He was pretty much talking about last night. He was talking about that. He just wanted Seth to come out here and. Seth wasn't nowhere to be found. Saying that he that Dean was right and he was wrong and he's still not coming out. Which I knew where he was. I'll so Dean that. tries to make it make it spicy. So Dean's like, let's do what Seth Rollins does. Let's put it in his book. I'll do an open challenge. Yeah. For the against, title. Against anybody except Seth Rollins. And Breeze comes out. And like she said, that was Breeze. And Breeze is actually pretty good. Yeah, he's so he's good. Like uh, we've seen him on NXT. He's good, yeah. but he's, Dean's better. He did a lot. Yeah, Dean of course is better. He did a lot of maneuvers. Tyler Breeze did. He got him up in the, with his legs wrapped around his neck. Did slam. It was all. Oh man. Then he oh. stunned him. It was. It was crazy. But, but in the end, he almost got him twice. But Seth Rollins shows up. He yeah. was actually one of the guys in the mask. Well, at he came after Dean won, because it was like burn it down, and then. He was one of the guys in the gas max. Like, I knew it. Oh, Ashley, since no one saw it, why don't you give uh, give us your impression of what you did? No. Do it. Or I'll do it. And trust me, Ashley, it would be more embarrassing if I said do it. Oh, I sure will. All right, you, okay, you want me to do it. This is what Ashley did with Seth Rollins' shows. I told you 
he was there. I just called it. He was going to do that. I called it. He was going to be in the mess. Ah! Ah! Okay. Okay, well, that's okay. You were that. That was you. I don't lie. Well, she was little. I was little. You were. Ah! Not I more called like that. I you was, were. No. You were going. She, mm. she more was more when Dean came. No, she, she was, was more. No, she was calm when but Dean no. showed up. But when Seth Rollins showed up with the match, she's, I'm right. And then there was um a backstage thing with Shane McMahon and Drake Maverick saying that there's going to be a uh, fail four way. No, AOP wants, wants their titles. Yeah, but Shane's saying there's going to be a fatal four way. The Revival. The Revival, House Party, the B Team, and AOP, and whoever wins that gets a title shot against Chad and Gable. Mm -hmm. Chad and. The Revival Gable. won that! Yeah. Yep. They actually won it. And guess There's... what? It was fair. There is no three uh, three men in it. There's no Lucha they House actually Party were rules. All in the match, were they? Was AOP in it? Let's see. Yeah, AOP was there. Wasn't like the Usos in that one match. It was kind of interesting, also, because he they were doing their thing, and then yeah. they were doing the same thing. And B team, B, B team, team, go, go, go. Yeah. yeah. And then of course it was. They were showing promos of wrestlers who we've been talking about who are missing. So they said Sami Zayn's going to return some uh, sometime. Yep, and then Kevin Owens. Toilet potty. Come but on. then they started showing off. Who are the new faces that will show up either on Raw or SmackDown? So go ahead. Okay. Who is it? Lars Sullivan. We knew that. EC3. Nikki Cross. Oh, no. Ashley was going nuts over Nikki Cross. Heavy Machinery. Oh, yeah. And Lacey Evans. Yeah? You said you don't give a crap about Lacey Evans. I don't Evans. really care too much about her. No, really. she's not. No. She kind of reminds No, the way how she's... Uh, played out or how she's all dressed up and stuff reminds me of vintage World War II pinup posters for the war. Like girls that they paint on the side of the jets and stuff. Yeah. Cool, but not really into it. And then there was, and then the interview with Rollins, and that's the thing with Baron Corbin just saying it was. Wrong. It's your fault that I lost. That I'm not general manager, so there's a new um, match. For Monday, right? Yeah. Um, and then Ronda Rousey, she's coming out. She's just pretty much saying about Becky and Charlotte. And but then she's changed it and saying that I'm a fighting champion, so I'm issuing an open challenge. And the lock backstage locker room went crazy, and Stephanie McMahon showed up and pulled out all eight of the women that won a challenge. So Stephanie calls it and says. This is going to be an eight women gauntlet match. Also with that Seth Rollins thing, when I he said, um, you know what? Bam, he didn't put her Oh, yeah, that's right. That yeah, was them. awesome. Yeah, how, how could we ever forget that? But here's what, start, what started off the gauntlet match. And it's the main event. Alicia Fox versus Bailey. Bailey wins it. Then it's Dana Brooke versus Bailey. Bailey wins that. Mickey James versus Bailey. Bailey. Mickey James wins that. Bailey kind of stayed in quite a bit. Yeah, then it's Mickey versus uh, Ember Moon. Ember Moon wins it. Then there's Natalia yeah. versus Ember Moon, and she easily wins it. Then it's the rematch. <laughs> Natalia versus Ruby Riot. Yeah. Natalia puts her in her place. Yeah. Now the main event. It's Wonder... It's... Wonder, ba Wonder Banks versus <laughs> Natalia. Yeah. I'm serious. She look, She's got the Wonder Woman thing a little too far. Like, that match was really good, but Natalia made her tap. Natalia. Yeah. And here's the thing. Now, next week is a, t is a title shot. So it's Ronda versus Natalia. Yep. And there's no backstabbing, no cheating or anything. Best they, friends, pretty much. They raise their hands, they shake their hands, and they hug it out. Yep, and at the end, with um, that match, she kissed Sasha Banks on the forehead. Yeah. That was must have been a, that was a good match. 
Of course it was. It was, it was fun. That golden yeah. match was really good. This was for the fans. This is why I said it's awesome. They changed it off. It's about yeah. time they started listening to us. Yeah. No, usually the Raw or SmackDowns after a pay-per-view are hit or misses. Today was a hit. Yep. Now we have to figure out what are the plans for SmackDown. But Ronda came out. And she raised Natalia's hand and yeah. walked her back to the... Place. I just said that. Why'd you have to repeat it? Oh, I didn't hear you. You Sorry. said you hate repeats. Why are you repeating? Why are you repeating? Well, anyway. Why are you repeating? And then next week... And then next week... Um, These are the matches match. for so far. It's uh, going to be the Raw Woman title. And it's going to be Rollins versus Corbin. It's going to be a triple threat. Balor, Ziggler, and Drew. And then the Miracle of 34th Street, Elias versus Booby Lashley. Oh, wait, we forgot that. We forgot Booby Lashley oh, and that. We did. Elias and Bobby Lashley. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. some part. Teasing. Okay, some part of it, we see Booby Lashley and Leo Rush are in the ring and they're mocking Elias, like usually how he started, like, hold your applause and cell phones and he's holding up the broken thing. Then we see. Because now he's called the almighty Bobby Lashley. So he's standing up, and he's flexing his muscles, and then he's tapping his butt like he usually does, making, like, saying to the audience to kiss his ass. And then... Nope. But then freaking Elias shows up out of nowhere and slams the guitar on his back. Yeah. And he hits and runs. He runs. He bolts. <laughs> I still want to see him come out in a like a tutu or whatever and but she still wants Rush to... wants a baby costume. She Mommy wants... and, and baby. There you go. She wants to see Leah Russ in a diaper. <laughs> I think With a Missy... binky and a pacifier. <laughs> a freaking bonnet or whatever you want to call them things. I I'm... think Missy has a baby fetish. Oh, She's one of those people that has a giant built in um crib at her house with diapers and stuff. Uh, and then I she don't know. Add... that's a little Missy, you keep saying the well, weirdest stuff. Well. Like you want to see people dressed as a baby. <laughs> no. You brought over that binky, that bottle. <laughs> no. You were drinking out of the bottle. The gross. You ask guys randomly on the street saying that if you had a girlfriend really? that wanted to dress as a baby, would you want Jack. to change your diaper? She only thinks she's missing is Sally. Yeah, I got it. That's like this. the ultimate movie. I could not stop watching. I love that movie. Yeah, you, you like that for before Christmas? I do. Yeah. This actually was the only one left I gave Oh, wait, up. next week, isn't it supposed to be Raw and SmackDown? It's supposed to be near Christmas? Yeah, yeah. Christmas specials. Yeah. I'm looking forward to also seeing the troops. Tribute to the troops. Oh, yeah, Thursday. Um, I like watching that. I'm not really too fond of seeing uh, Flappy Jacks, though. You're still going to watch Flappy Only thing Jacks. I like on there is Kobe Kingston. Like no, Kobe you like Biggie. You like Biggie. Those He's, two. Yeah. You like Biggie. He's the new sexual chocolate for you. You even said it. That's, remember, remember Mark Henry with Mae Young? Oh, yeah, that's, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, that's Missy and Big E. It's just but that anyway. Big E, but Big E's coating Missy in syrup. I um, I thought this actually was a good role. What about you? Yeah. It's good. I just want to see how SmackDown's going to do it. Yeah. Maybe Flubba Bubba is going to do something. Yes, Mojo. <laughs> yeah, or Daniel Bryan. Or new Daniel Bryan. Yeah. So what did you guys thought of all? Did you actually like what this man and them said? Do you are you excited for the matches next week? Um, excited with uh. Are you excited for what your holiday plans are? Yeah, let us know. We want to hear. Did you like it when Seth Rollins punched Baron Corbin in the face? I was. Yeah. He's like, you know what? Bam! I never liked Baron Corbin. Only thing is, like, Baron I took who? I don't know. When he was younger, when he had all the, his hair or whatever. He's he still the same! No. He didn't age that much. All he did was shave his head. But no, when he was younger, he, he did wrestle pretty good. Some parts. But he, what are you talking about? Like he just showed up out of the blue. He wasn't there for years. He just I showed just up like a really year ago. I didn't like him that much. I just only like certain things about him when he when he had his hair and all that. But Missy, when anymore. did you start watching wrestling? Like a year ago? No, ever since I was a baby. Oh, no, you haven't. Wow. Well, yeah, because my grandmother. There well, is no our way, grandmother. There is no way yeah. you've been watching since you were a baby. <laughs> okay. Well, whatever. Well, anyway, <laughs> so let us know. Um, yeah. Let know, so. What are you looking forward to seeing? I look forward to seeing the whole week of 
roll and for the USA down, channel and then this new day thing, whatever that is. Yeah. And two two two. Yeah. Um, Looking forward to the next Monday Night Raw with Christmas going on. Yeah, cr- Christmas Eve and Christmas on wrestling. Yeah, it's gonna be weird. Maybe but somebody will dress up like Santa or something. Doesn't Mick Foley comes out like he always does? With- oh yeah. We haven't awesome. seen him uh, spoke spoken out for the shop. You know they should bring back some of the other ones. Yeah, what other wrestlers? Know. It could be something. Yeah, bring back some of the old ones we haven't seen in a while. Like what happened to all the old ones? Like <laughs> DDP or like you know? Yeah. Some of the old ones. What about Hornswoggle? Bring him out. Make well, him dress up like a little elf or uh, Santa. Claus. She wants Hornswoggle. <laughs> or Boogeyman. With the worms. Yeah, let him come out. Instead of the bee all dressed up a little bit. <laughs> That'd be yeah. really weird. Next but, up, Missy wants the critters or the leprechaun to show up. Uh, so, yeah. Let us know. Yeah. So, make sure you like. Comment. Subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.